It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! You underestimate my power! Don't try it! What is going on, everyone? It's All Star Wars All, and today I'm bringing you guys my Star Wars action figure collection. I'm super excited to bring you guys this video. So I'm going to start off with everything that's five and a half inch or bigger, and then we'll move on to the everything I have in package, which is a variety of scales of figures, and then all my three and three quarter inch action figures. So that Anakin and Ezra right there are like the 12 inch scale, and they're like... The Heroes line, I'm pretty sure I, I forget. I think got them both at Walgreens. But um, I don't know what line that Chewbacca is from, but I really like that Chewbacca. That uh, Darth Vader there and Darth Maul, Luke, and Han Solo. I don't know what line they're from. Actually, they don't even have a line. Like they, I get them at Dollar General for like five fifty. They don't have an actual package name like in like the black series or the force linked or whatever. They're just don't they're not labeled a name and they're definitely not the black series. They're just like, I think they're, like, two or three points of articulation there, so... But I just put those guys up. And then, I have a couple Marvel figures that I'm not gonna really collect. I just... That I'm not used to have. And then that Rocket. And then, um... Groot. I just seen that pack the other day at Walmart, and I was like, oh, that's cool. They're my some of my favorite characters from the Guardians of the Galaxy, so I got that. But, if you guys wanna buy any of these Marvel figures, because I'm not really gonna collect them, um... You guys can hit me up on my Instagram, uh, which is on the screen now. And basically just tell me which one you would want out of uh, these Marvel guys here. On um, that Juggernaut, um, that actually means a lot to me. I used to play with like all the time when I was younger with my friends. And so if I sell that, that's going to be like a sort of a high price. I really like that Juggernaut. But any of these other guys, like uh, the Venom or the Hulk or whatever... You guys just hit me up on my Instagram, and yeah, I'll, I'll uh, give those to you guys for a good price. Well, we'll debate a price or whatever, but now let's move on to the in-package figures. Alright, so here's all my in-package figures. They're all basically up on this just shelf. It's just one long shelf, and then it goes on to my uh, out-of-package figures, but there's a wide variety of figures from like each line. Uh... Some of the Force Link 2.0 I don't really keep in package besides that Leia, because I heard that was um, hard to find. So I got that, kept it in package. And then that Darth Maul and Qui-Gon is just, I don't know, I really like that pack, so I kept that one in package. But moving that, I got um, a lot of the 3 and 3 quarter inch Black Series. I really like those figures, the ones, the way they look in package, um, I just, I'm a really big fan of. Um, so I got a lot of the 3 and 3 quarter inch Black Series. Um, I wouldn't say, like, all of them, because I know I'm missing a couple. But, um, yeah, I really like those, the way they look in package. So, I'm not sure if I'll take those out of package, or eventually, if I do, just display them. I'm not sure. But there's my Episode 2 Anakin Skywalker, a character collectible. I'm, I really like that. Um, I got a couple Power of the Force, but I, I don't really like those too much. But, or, I mean, of course, they're good figures to have, but I'm not necessarily in package for those. So, I only have, like, three, I think, maybe four. But, um, that's a Target exclusive that, uh, sorry for the glare, um, that Anakin and Darth Vader, like, uh, the rise of Darth Vader, I really like that, and so I'm excited about that. And then, well, behind there, I got stacks, spawn stacks of the, uh, three and three quarter inch black series. Um, and then there's some more behind this clone scuba trooper. Um, so yeah, there's a lot. Um, and then, uh, that Obi-Wan, what's like, number two in that, uh, figure line the uh the titanium and then behind that i got the character concept for chewbacca which is the 30th anniversary which i really want to get more of those 30th anniversary figures i really like those um just to keep in package because it's the 30th anniversary i really like those i have a mace windu one where i'm pretty sure he comes with like force lightning he's deflecting off his lightsaber but um i don't but the, the, besides that, that's all i have but um Moving this, I have, that's actually like a 2004, that, uh, character debut. Um, cause these are like the modern, like 2016 or 17, uh, throwback Kenner cards figures, like that Snoke 
and then Empire Strikes Back Rebel Soldier. But that one's actually a 2004. Um, I forget exactly, but um, yeah. But so if I just take it out and look, it's actually um or a 2012. I mean, it says right there, but. It's highly like that. I seen that and I was like, well, I'll get that. I didn't get it at a, like a Walmart or anything. It was like a little like collectible store. Um, but yeah, that Admiral Ackbar and stuff. And then I have that, uh, Toys R Us exclusive. Um, that Admiral Ackbar and that, um, I forget what other character comes with in the pack, but that Toys R Us exclusive. I'm really glad I got that. I think I got it for like $4 or something like that. So that was an awesome deal. Um, then some episode one figures. Um, then I have, like, practically all the Force Links. Um, not the 2.0s, but the first wave. Or, the, not the first wave, the first one. Um, behind all these. Um, uh, I know I'm missing for a fact, like, the Obi-Wan, um, the Darth Sidious, and the Yoda. I think those are the only three I'm missing. But, um, so let me just move some of these figures so you guys can see the, uh, rest of the Force Links. Um, the reason I have so many is because... That was the line that was out when I had started collecting last year in early December. So that would be 2017, December is when I started collecting. Um, and that was the line that was out. So that's so I basically ended up just like getting all that were I could find in stores. And of course I had some of the Clone Wars figures from when I was younger when I played. And that's where I, that's the ones that I started displaying. And then I went into the stores and I started getting some of the Force Links that I really thought were cool from the new movies. And... So that's what sparked my collection, and then I started collect moving on, like, and started, like, going to other places and, like, uh, flea markets and stuff and picking up, like, episode one figures, episode three, and just other stuff, and, yes, and it's just expanding since last year, December. And some other package and package figures that I don't have displayed yet are uh, Tusken Raider, three and three quarter inch black series, and like I said, I really, really, really like these figures. Um... One day I'm going to get them all tacked up um, on a wall because I think it looks super cool when they'll all be next to each other. This is the package and everything just looks so awesome to me, how they're in there and everything. So, that guy too. And then I have uh, Power of the Force, some other Power of the Force stuff. Um, and then I have this 6-inch Black Series number 60, the Death Star Trooper. And then I have... Uh, I have this fin right here that I don't have displayed yet because when I reorganized my collection a couple weeks ago, I uh, forgot about him. And so there he is. I really like that one. Um, and then I have this uh, two-pack, uh, this bonus pack. Um, I thought that was really cool because um, I've only seen these like individually. And to see these two guys together in a pack is pretty cool. So, And then this tote that these guys are on top of right here is... Um, Basically, what I put all my package, like, um, without figures, like, the action figures that I take out of package, I'll put the package in that tote, because I've seen on, uh, Antiques Roadshow before, it's just, like, a show where there, people will bring in, like, antiques, basically, and they'll, people will give them a price, and I've seen on that show before that people brought in, like, old style, like, toys and everything, and the, uh, actual package is worth more than the actual toy itself and so yeah it's, I guess that's why I keep my uh, action figure boxes so yeah just a quick overview of everything I got here um that's one last little rundown of all that but yeah this goes like all the way back like I've compacted these action figures the best I could like a couple months ago when I reorganized the in package figures but one day I'm gonna put all these separate from my actual display but um yeah so now, uh, my favorite part of the collection, the auto package figures, so three and three quarter inch auto package figures. So uh, let's go look at them. So here it is, guys, all my action figures. Um, I have them uh, displayed like each trilogy, I guess, um, or each like, yeah, basically each trilogy. So at the end, I got all the Clone Wars right here, and then I have the prequels. Um, then I have just some odd Han Solo figures I have no idea what to do with. Then I have the original trilogy here, and then the sequels, and then Rebels. So, I guess we'll just do, um, go by each section. So starting with the Rebels, um, 
I had the Leia, the Rex, the Ezra, the Inquisitor, the Grand Inquisitor, Maul, and the Seven Sister. Um, and for the sequels that I have, Episode 7 and 8, um, it's actually a very small uh, section I have. Because you guys seen all the Force Link figures I have, that would plug just about every hole in this uh, section right here. I would plug just about all of all, all the holes because there's not really much. And so I, I do have basically a complete uh, sequel section, but just not out of package. So moving on to the original trilogy section, um, that Darth Vader versus Obi-Wan is one of my favorite duels in Star Wars. So I have that set up there. And then the scene with Obi-Wan, R2, and... C-3PO, where um, Princess Leia is asking Obi-Wan for hope, where R2 has that projected there. Um, IG-88 and the Princess Leia from Episode 6, and but that IG-8 is from Episode 5. And I did a review on those uh, figures on my channel, like, maybe a month or so ago, if you guys want to check that out. Um, yeah, so those were, like, they were our originals. Um, and then... A Gamorrean guard there, uh, snow trooper, uh, one of the band players. I forget like the band's called or whatever, but oh my god, him set up playing the instrument. And actually, what really stinks is that Force Ghost Obi Wan and that band player were 1997 uh, fan club exclusives. That they were in package when I got them, but like it just looked like uh, someone had already taken them out of like a box and like they had basically put them up like in like a little tiny plastic bag because that's like the actual package they came in and so that was actually their original package and they had actually came in like a box but like out of that they came in like a little not like a little tiny ziplock but like a little closed sealed little tiny bag and like I thought that someone had just already taken them out and put them in that bag but then I looked them up online and that's actually how they come and I was a little bit disappointed because those are fan club exclusives and I guess you've had to been part of the fan club to get them and I wasn't back in 1997 so I, so that would have been kind of cool to keep in the package, something like that. But um, then I got original Anakin, which some people might disagree with, but I like the uh, change where they have Hayden Christensen uh, be the, come up as the Force Ghost in there uh, at the end of Episode 6. So I like the Hayden Christensen version better. And Darth Vader, uh, Yoda, Luke uh, from Episode 6 too. And I got that Chariot because I'm not sure what to do with my Rogue One people either. But I don't have many, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, so, yeah, so that's basically all those guys. Um, then just some of the four of the Han Solo guys that I have. Um, so, moving on to the prequel section. Um, starting in the back, I have... Uh, which is funny because that Episode 1 Obi-Wan literally came in today. And I had ordered him like over a month ago, but he was coming in from a different country. So... I was like, well, if he doesn't, I was supposed to record the video today, and I was like, well, if he doesn't come in, then I'll just record it without him. But he came in this morning, so that's very lucky and clutch. But I got the Darth Maul and, versus Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, which is one of my favorite battles uh, ever in Star Wars. And I had the Count Dooku versus Anakin, and then the Darth Vader versus Obi-Wan right there with Darth Vader burning under them. Then I have Pre-Cyborg Grievous from the... 30th anniversary collection I didn't know what to do with so I just placed him there and that and that uh General Grievous is super hard to stand up so I basically have General Grievous's fourth arm tucked in his other arm tucked in the pre-cyborg Grievous's arm so he can help stand then I have some clone troopers there a shock trooper a clone pilot and then just a phase one clone trooper uh standing behind Jango Fett and I forget that guy's name uh right there but I don't know it but he's there I know he's part of the prequels and then uh what is that? Sessi Tin, um, Mace Windu, Darth Sidious, Qui-Gon, Darth Maul, uh, Young Anakin, Kyoti Mundi, uh, Yoda, and that's right there is Darth Vader. But it's a glare on his face for some reason. Yeah, there's Darth Vader. Um, see, I really like that prequel section too because I have a decent amount of those figures. But um, So now moving on to the Clone Wars, which is my absolute favorite line of figures. Um, that I finished collecting. Um, I had, like I said, I had had some of the figures from when I was younger, and then I just 
finished off the collection within the past couple months. So, <clears throat> starting in the back with all the clones, um, the clone scuba trooper back left, uh, just a regular yellow clone trooper, a green clone trooper, pretty sure that's kicks, um, the clone turbo tank driver, hard case, um, echo from the Rishi Moon outpost, and there's fives from the defend Camino. Then there's a camo ARF trooper, which is advanced recon force. And then a white ARF trooper, uh, clone pilot oddball, Captain Rex, and Commander Cody. So I really like those clones. Then some Jedi. I have Kit Fisto, Yoda, Anakin, Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, Mace Windu, uh, Plo Koon. And then some of my bounty hunters or just uh, non, non-republic or separatists. I have IG-88, Ara Singh, Embo, Bosk, and Cad Bane. I really, really like that Cad Bane figure. It's awesome. Then I have Pre Vizsla and then Ugnaught. Um, and then some droids there in the back. Then I have General Grievous. Actually, he's kind of like... There, now General Grievous is facing forward better. But um, then we got Count Dooku, Asajj Ventress, uh, Mother Talzin, Savage Opress, and Darth Maul, which I really, really like that Darth Maul. That is awesome. Darth Maul uh, is hands down one of my favorite characters. In episode one, like when before I watched the Clone Wars and figured out he survived his fall, um, I really wasn't a big fan of him. Like, I thought he was cool because he's a Sith, but I really didn't like him that much. And then I figured out, like, watched more to his story and everything, and I just really, really started liking Darth Maul a lot more. Just all the story he's been through and... Just everything. His full story actually is amazing. Like, it's up there with Anakin's story. Like, Anakin's whole storyline uh, from birth to the end is a super sad story. And then, actually, same with Darth Maul is once you dive more deep into his story. Like, there's some comic books that go, like, more into, like, his childhood. And then, of course, the Clone Wars and Rebels carries more on as well. But, so, yeah, besides that, guys, I think that's just about everything. I think that's all my collection. So I'll do one down, one overview of everything. Uh, I really, really like collecting. So yeah, I've been collecting since December 2017. And this is what I got so far. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. And as you guys see, there was supposed to be a ray there. But she had just fallen after I went over the section. So yeah, there's supposed to be a ray right there. But you guys know that because you've seen. Um, so yeah, that's everything, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed. Actually, when I first started collecting, I was really like in Star Wars, and I mean, I still like Star Wars, but I would print off pictures online and get a frame for them and just put them up there. And I made some really cool picture collages uh, with this app and <clears throat> of Star Wars. I made some really cool picture collages, and I'm gonna actually just take down all these little ones, all them little pictures and stuff, and I'm gonna uh, put up some like enlarged pictures of some collages I made. So yeah, that's everything, guys. Um, I really, really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next Star Wars video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and peace. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! You underestimate the power of the dark side. Don't try it!